So water is obviously the most important thing to sustain life. My name is Ralf Otterpohl. I'm the director of the Institute of Wastewater Management and Water Protection. And I came from water to soil. And uh, I'm now introducing the six ECTS module Nexus Engineering, Water, Soil, Food and Energy. We are having specific lectures on these topics and also exercises. And uh, to start with, we need to look at the interaction of water, soil and food production. Uh, and this is uh, something what has a lot to do with the current climate change. So climate is uh, going crazy when vegetation cover is lost. Uh, when we don't have a suitable uh, vegetation like you see here in the background, um, here the water is taken up by living soil, soil with vegetation cover. It reproduces the groundwater. But now imagine a, a barren area where there is only uh, well dead soil without any plant life. Uh, such soils convert to something like concrete, so there is no infiltration anymore. So if we want to do whatever we can for a balanced climate, as much as we can influence this as uh, humans, um, we need to take care that we have vegetation cover uh, far and wide and uh, restore lands that have been destroyed. And that's what this lecture is all about in all aspects. The good news is that uh, this is all uh, doable. It's, well, there are clear pathways uh, how to go forward. We have uh, rainwater harvesting. Uh, we do have a lot of uh, tools available. There are fantastic projects around the world. Um, and uh, with uh, the major importance of living soil, uh, we should really understand uh, the functioning of the whole ecosystems of the whole world, in fact. And I have ex uh, a little experiment for um, showing you the connection. So I have here a little bit of what uh, should make some nice rain. And uh, this uh, rain, if this falls on, on barren land, on degraded land that doesn't have vegetation cover, it will simply run off. So is this looking like rain? Yeah. So when the rain is stopping, the water is gone right away. And uh, now, to the contrary, if we have uh, living soil, what I have uh, well mimicked, simulated with this uh, sponge, we do have a very good capacity to take up the rain. And uh, with that, uh, even after the rain has finished, a lot of water is still running, running, and you can see that this water is still running now, still running, still running. And uh, so this will be retaining the water and uh, recover the groundwater. So that's uh, the key issue, what needs to be uh, taken care of. A water catchment area requires living soil, and uh, therefore we need regenerative agriculture that keeps soils alive with lots of humus and that way a lot more healthy and good food can be produced and at the same time the climate will be more balanced. And so to end up with this short in introduction uh, I want to give you some uh, homework and uh, the one that is my favorite to show this uh, connection in a, in a very clear and practical way with, with practical projects, uh, that would be Hope in a Changing Climate by John D. Liu. I met John and he's a fantastic man. He has committed his life uh, to showing uh, this very connection and he is very, very good at it. Uh, the link to the video is found below. And another video what is uh, really showing how 
relatively simple it is to get back to restoring land and to create a lot of livelihoods uh, is a Miracle Water Village. And that's an example from uh, India. Uh, the link will also be down below. And uh, if you ask after seeing these videos, why is this not done everywhere around the world? I'm with you. I'm asking the same question and I'm stunned about the ignorance, the political, uh, well, uh, well, sort of lack of adequate responses to, to urgent crises. And instead of addressing the real issues, uh, we are sidetracked with issues where money can be made because if you restore a, an area, this will give livelihoods to the people living there, but not making uh, well, extraction of money easy. So it's very cost efficient and economic on a regional level, on a local level for sustaining the livelihoods of people, um, having resilience against drought, against uh, food shortages, famine, and um, also to, to counteract against uh, climate change. So that's it for the moment. Um, the next lectures will also be announced uh, and can be found below. And uh, you can also look at all the resources that we use of our system www.ruvival.de uh, R-U uh, Y-I-V-I-A-L dot D-E in English, Spanish, French, some other languages. And I hope you will enjoy this class and, uh, well, see you then in the next uh, lecture. Bye.